Welcome back everyone, it's Mark with Exotic Car Play Place. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to today talk about the E70 X5 that I have sitting in front of me here and specifically on how to reset the service lights. I'm going to walk you through that because a lot of you guys like to do yourself repairs on your vehicles. And because BMW and their shop rates tend to be quite high, and especially buying these cars used, it becomes almost cost prohibitive to bring these in for every little service appointment. So you have to get creative and do some of this work yourself. So what I'm going to do guys, today I happen to have a new service code light show up on my dash. Now what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to walk you through some of the key points. It happens to be the brake fluid change. They recommend a brake flush. So later on in the video, if you stick around, I'm going to walk you through the actual step-by-step -step how to do a proper reset of the code on the X5 here, the E70 X5. But before we do that, let's get started and I'm going to show you where to find the reservoir and talk about some of the key steps for the brake fluid. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is to access your fluid reservoir it happens to be up here. So I'm going to pop that. Now what you need, hey, look at this, what I have in my back pocket, a 13 millimeter socket and a ratchet to drive that. Now you want to undo, there's a series of bolts here, they're plastic, a quarter turn bolt, typical for BMW for a lot of their hidden gems that you'll find. And I'm going to show you where these bolts are. Okay, so you want to undo this overlapped one right here. Quarter turn that one out of the way. This next one. The reason you do that one is because this underlaps there. You're going to undo all of these. Quarter turn. Quarter turn. Maybe light, slightly more than a quarter turn. Pop that. And there we have that. So what we're going to do, pull this off, take that rubber out, kind of in the road a little bit. You turn that away, the fluid reservoir. So based on this, I'm looking at the fluid level on the side of the reservoir here, and there's the minimum mark. There's the maximum mark, so we're down a little bit, which would indicate the kind of the wear that you're experiencing on the brakes, which is pretty typical. We just put new brakes in this car last about a year and a half, two years ago, I guess it would be. And that would indicate the wear that you're experiencing. Now you notice this is your brake booster and of course your reservoir. You'll also notice a couple of circuits, your brake circuits here. Your brake circuits are generally identified your front and your back brakes. So I want to give you a few quick pointers here before I get on to the reset of the code. Now understand this of course, there's a lot of videos and I'm probably going to create a video in a little while as well on how to do the proper brake flush on the E70 X5 that I'm standing in front of. But I'm not going to do that today. Today is just a quick, if you want to tackle this yourself and you're already familiar with how to do a typical brake flush, I'll explain some do's and don'ts. So number one, Know this, you typically start on the back passenger side, you bleed that end first, then you move to the back left side. Then you bleed the front right side, and then you finish off at the front left side. That's the typical pattern that you would utilize. Secondly, don't crack any unnecessary fittings on your ABS module. If you do that, guaranteed you'll wind up with air in the system as well as when you're bleeding the system, make sure you continually add fluid to this reservoir. If at any time you wind up with air in your system, guaranteed you're gonna to have to bleed it, and if you have to bleed it and you have air that makes it to the ABS module, you will then need that special computer to dial in and force the air out and do the bleed system on the complete system with the computer. Now, if you can avoid that and you do it properly and you utilize the old fashioned style of bleeding, you're able to basically fill up the reservoir, 
continually as you bleed, keep this topped up so you don't wind up running short. So that's very important. Again, you start at the back corner, work your way right to left, and then right to left, back to front, of course. Ending at the very front, wheel here. That's where you want to end up. The other pointer, of course, is do not get brake fluid on the paint. If you pour brake fluid on the paint and don't clean that off, guaranteed that paint will eat away. That paint will come apart and it'll become disbonded or become unbonded from the actual metal structure underneath and you will have a paint job that looks like crap. So I just wanted to share those few pointers with you. Otherwise, it's a fairly traditional bleed setup here. Not that complicated. Just again, keep the air out of the system. Run it. Some guys suggest sucking out of the top here. You can do that too, absolutely. But again, when you do that, there's a chance that you might introduce air into the system. Once you have air in the system, there's a high probability you'll need to force the outputs on your brake module with the computer. So it's almost just easier. Just keep topping up here, adding fluid to the reservoir as you keep pumping it out and bleeding it out each corner. Just keep that topped up. All right, let's get in. All right. So if you look over here, guys, right here, that's my indicator. So you obviously have a, a service code light issue here. So then we're going to go over to the I screen here or the X drive screen. Actually, I'm, what I'm going to do is exit out, hit the menu. Now I'm in the main screen and I'm going to go hit the button. I'm going to push that down. And now I'm into these menus, of course, info sources. Let's enter info sources. Now we scroll, we go into service info, and this is how I find out where my issues are. So I go in there, of course, oil level's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Let's get back out. So as you can see, it says I have a vehicle check and a brake fluid. Now this pretty much goes hand in hand. Now it's telling me that I'm a thousand kilometers overdue for this vehicle check. Talk about a money grab from a dealer's perspective. Now the fluid check is saying January, February, March of 2018, it should have been done. Now, now what I'm going to do is basically say, okay, I'm gonna do this change myself. Now understand that BMW is very conservative with the brake fluid. Now I am totally in favor of doing all the maintenance and I will be doing that. Today's video is not talking about the do it yourself on the actual brake flush, but this is what this is talking about here is a brake fluid. Now BMW states more or less every two years to change the brake fluid. That is very conservative because a lot of manufacturers don't even change the fluid until you do a brake change. Brake change, fluid change, you do simultaneously. And even if it's more than that, two years is still quite, quite frequent, if not a little bit on the conservative side. So I'm going to advance this process. I'm going to erase these, these codes, and then I'm gonna follow that up. I will do a do-it-yourself here very shortly, but for now, I will show you how to erase these codes and get this back to ground zero. For all those do-it-yourselfers out there, I know a lot of you guys don't like to have your hands handcuffed by the dealers and their excessive charges on a lot of this stuff. Maybe brake fluid isn't that expensive to do at the dealer, but you know, there's always the extra, extra, extra. So I know a lot of you guys like to get your hands dirty a little bit, so to speak, and do some of this stuff yourself. So let's go into this and I'm gonna show you, first thing is first. What we're gonna do, we have to turn the vehicle off. So you have to do it with the vehicle off. I'm gonna shut it off, okay? Now, without foot on the brake, you don't want to have the foot on the brake, you just want to hit... So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit... We're going to hit this fancy little button, that's your odometer button, that's also going to check for the codes. So again, the engine, the ignition is on, but the car is not running. So we're going to press and hold, and you're going to get that. So you're gonna press and hold it. Now you get into this. Now you're gonna scroll. Scroll through all the modes. You can see brake fluid, service, and all the other ones are good. Engine oil, brake wear lining is fine, and some of the other things are fine on this vehicle. What's not so fine is, again, the service. 
and the brake fluid. And I'm going to show you right here. So you've got the brake fluid, you press and hold it. Oh, see, I missed the boat. So you press and hold. Now you've got the right, so we're going to scroll through. Now press and hold it until it says reset. Reset, let, let go and press it again. Clear. And that's all there is to it. Now you also have the service. Well, I'm going to eliminate this service because to be honest with you, we do a pretty good bang up job of maintaining our vehicle. So I'm gonna show you how to do the full re service reset. So press and hold. And press and hold again, it's gonna ask me for reset. Yes, let go, press it again, hold it. Boom, and away we go. So now as you can see, our brake fluid is fine. Brake fluid, vehicle check, are all okay on the iDrive system or the xDrive system, depends how you like your flavor. Everything is green and we are golden, back on the road in one piece. So everybody, I really hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it helps all you guys out there, you do it, you do it yourselfers out there that don't feel like getting your hands tied and you don't like the dealers using that brake vacuum cleaner, sucking all that hard-earned cash out of your wallets. You want to do some of that yourself. This way you can also ensure that you do a good cleanup while you're in there. You're able to inspect other things and identify anything that you feel is necessary. Not that somebody else necessarily feels that way. Again, that being said, if you're not a do-it-yourselfer, maybe leave that for the dealer. But for those that love to tackle their own work, it's a very simple job, brake job on this car as well as a brake flush. Really is really quite quite easy to perform on this vehicle, but I just thought I'd share with you how to actually do that service reset. And this goes for any of those things. If you have an oil change that you need to reset, that's how you do it as well. I would recommend doing your regular oil changes. That's the best thing you can do for your engine as well as fuel filters are a good thing. Keep the fuel and the oil in good shape for these vehicles and they'll run for a long, long time. So everybody, it's Mark again, checking out. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give a like. Don't forget to comment below. And as well, share with your friends. I'd love for you guys to share this information. If you have friends that you know have vehicles like this, why not share the video with your friends? It gives them some heads up on how to do some of this work themselves. And of course, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel at that little subscribe button way down there at the bottom corner of the video. Don't forget to hit that. I'd love to see you guys on the next video and we'll catch you real soon. See you then. Bye-bye.